Welcome back, folks, to some more Ultima 7. This flamboyant bard exudes a festive aura. I have sung about thee in many a song, and heard thou art in the flesh. I recognize thee immediately. The man bows. Welcome, Avatar. Ah, dear Nastasia, wouldst thou like to hear her tale? Very well, then. I shall tell thee the story of only unhappy person in Cove, Nastasia. She is the only person in town without a lover. Not that she doesn't have suitors, she is quite beautiful. All she thinks about is the Shrine of Compassion, which is where thou would probably find her at this moment. Di Maria strums his lute and sings. Once there was a maid, Arana, who held the shrine so dear. She asked that her offspring do likewise, and keep it so year after year. Her son, Mikael, became mayor, with a goal to keep in fashion the town's old and beloved reputation as the city of love and passion. Mikael's oldest child was Magda. She built Lover's Walk, a fine park, where Cove's lovers, both young and old, could court our doors in the dark. Ha! Ah, but the clouds of misfortune do hide where the sun's brightness seemeth most fair, and poor Nadia, Magda's daughter of misfortune, had more than her share. It began when Nadia did wed one day to Julius, a not so worthy young lad. He left her with child and went far away, as Nadia's poor heart was sad. One day from you the fateful news came, and Julius by a beast was killed. The child came early, it was a difficult birth, and Nadia's soul became chilled. With dagger in hand and child in arm, to the shrine did Nadia run. She plunged her dagger into her home breast. Never again would she see the sun. Natasia grew up an orphan, you see, unloved and unwanted by all. Today she walks cloaked in solitude, awaiting her destiny's call. And that is poor Natasia's tale. Perhaps thou can cheer her, find her, I beseech thee. Do take care of thyself, Avatar. Well, let's go check out the Shrine of Compassion, see if Natasia's there. Hey, baby. Emotion immediately grips your heart. To see such a beautiful young woman seems so sad. She looks up and introduces yourself. Hi, I'm Natasha. She thinks a moment. I suppose my job is to keep the Shrine of Compassion pristine, though it is not an official position. You are hot. Wanna fuck? Don't snow my father. I suppose the town folk have been talking again. I wish I had known him. There is something within me that yearns for some news of him. Anything at all. The Shrine of Compassion has been here for many generations, as all have the shrines in Britannia. My great-great-grandmother, Ariana, made a request in her will that her family line take care of this spectacular shrine. I'm afraid that thou mightest find the other shrines in poor condition. I keep this one, well, nice. And I do not only keep alive my great-great-grandmother's tradition, but for other reasons, too. Thou dost know the reasons. Ariana. Yes, she was my great-great-grandmother. I understand that she actually met the Avatar. He made a profound impact on her life. It is odd, but thou dost seem resemble portraits I've seen of the Avatar. I am the Avatar. She studies your features. Somehow I knew it. It hath been said thou would return. Some people may think it odd that a young person should cling to the old ways, but it is something that gives me great comfort. It gives me the feeling that there is something in this world that I belong to. Many of the shrines have fallen into disuse, or have been overgrown to the point of being lost. It is sad. So, so sad. 
My father died in a great force there. Some wild animal or something killed him. Art thou perhaps traveling to you? Yes. Oh, Ronstock, I do wish thou would try to find out something of my father. Please, would thou search for the truth and come back and tell me? Bless thee, I shall be waiting here for thee. Unexpectedly, Natasia pulls your head down to hers and kisses you on the mouth. Boom, shakalaka! You kiss Natasia's lovely mouth again. She responds. No man hath done that as well as thee. She looks at you with wide eyes. Do it again, me lord. You kiss Natasia's... Natasia yet again. This time your bodies press together tightly. And you know this promises to be more than a fleeting fling with some tavern wench. Kiss again. She moans. Kiss again. She moans. I am fucking kissing the shit out of her! Boom shakalaka! Goodbye. She kisses you again and turns so that she will not see you leave. Alright. So I'm going to jump on my magic carpet because I need to make some quick travel here. I'm going to hit the mint and cash in my gold butt nuggets. And we also need to look for someone in the castle. Unfortunately... This is fucking travel. That's what I'm talking about. distribution of waste products in Loch Lake, New Cove. The lake is quite defiled. Art thou traveling to Cove? That's good news. Perhaps thou could do us a great favor. We need this bill delivered to Lord Heather in Cove. Yes, we'll take it. Wonderful. Here is the bill. Please bring it back to me when it is signed and we thank you. That is precisely the thing to do, Avatar. He's dead, Avatar! You killed no British motherfucker! So as you can see, if you want to be a dick, uh, as, soon as, <laughs> as soon as Lord British walks under that gold sign and you double click on it, it um, pierces his skull and cracks his fucking head open. And he has a will, the last will and testament. Being of sound mind and body, I hereby bequeath all my belongings to Nell, my beloved chambermaid. She has kept me warm so many nights, which is more than I can say for most of my bloody subjects. And to her unborn child, I bequeath my crown. Long live the king or queen, whichever it shall be. Lord British. Alright, so, Lord British is dead! I killed him with a golden fucking sign. So, of course, kill Lord British with the Black Rock Sword or the sword, you know, the Demon Sword. Um, but dropping the sign on his head is so much more fun. And I bet several people didn't even know about that. Alright, you're going to want to get off my magic carpet because uh, if not, you're going to be going for a ride. Well, looks like you're going for a ride, guard.
and of course some asshole is stuck on my carpet. I'm gonna kill this fucker. That's what you get for getting on my magic carpet. Had to do it. He was on my magic carpet. Fuck it, keep your gold, you broke bastard. We gotta find Lord Heather. How oh, am I aching back? take Janna with you. She's a decent character. She can heal and resurrect, but she's also very squishy. I don't like to take her. time the government did something about the awful stench coming from that lake. I shall be happy to sign thy bill of law. Take it back to the Great Council, post haste. Lord Heather signs the bill and hands it back to you. It has gotten so putrid that on hot summer days the stink is suffocating. I believe that Britannia Mining Company in Minoc is still a source of the problem. Mining waste is being deposited in the lake. I should be glad it is nearly winter. I do hope you can help her. She needs a man like thee to bring her out of her depression. Food might smell good, but you ain't getting none. The Mage Bane Sword.
But we'll need swamp boots to get there. This is going to be great for the avatar to be able to just go solo. Like in Ultima 6, I could just hit number 1. And the avatar will go by himself. Unfortunately, you have to disband people here. You got to tell every fucking one of them to leave and to wait here. sure why they thought that sound effect was okay, but it's not. Poison dagger, we got the Mage Bane sword. to the avatar.
I got crucified. That sucks. I right, some more swamp boots. We'll take those. It's a cup of blood. Skeletons that attack once you take the Mage Bane Sword. Unfortunately, aren't carrying anything. They're kind of tricky there. They make it look like you can get across, but you fucking can't. people back here. Well now we'll give Spark his swamp shoes back. boots I had. That's where I picked them up. Oh shit. I don't think they made the trip back home. Fuck them. I'm not going back. disappeared, which isn't unusual for Ultima 7 being run by itself or on the Assault Engine. Alright, we've done about all we can here. It's time to head to Minoc, which is far north.
You see a man whose long hours of difficult smoldering work have frozen his face into a rigid expression, with eyes like hot coals. I'm Zorn. Those that have no respect for the dead, indeed trying to solicit at a terrible time like this, when people have been found murdered over at William's Sawmill. Murders? No one in this town ever really hated the gypsies, at least not that I have ever been aware of, could have done such a thing. I'm the blacksmith of Minoc. I make weapons and armor. Perhaps we could speak more of these things another time, say, perhaps during the business hours of my shop. Minoc is quite a city. Money changes hands here, but it does not keep people happy. They find something to squabble over, and now these terrible murders have everyone afraid. The snow is over Owen's monument, for instance. People ought to tend to their own business and let others handle their own foolish or not. Owen is building a monument to himself. It is forty feet tall, depicting him holding up a roll of plans. Pigeons will have a place to sit and shit forevermore. Why argue over something as unimportant as that? He is our town shipwright. He is a man who has exceedingly high opinion of himself. Good day, my lord. You see a cheerful woman with bright eyes, blonde hair, and a fat ass. Hello, my name is Xanthia. I am a member of the artist guild in Minoc. I make and sell candabros. With the success of mine, Minoc is a prosperous city. Not a place where once it's used to having murders happen. A good place for our artist skill to do well. But things have always been hard for us here. Now I fear they make it worse. It's so terrible. I never knew Federico or Tanya personally. But I did meet their son, Sasha, once. He was a nice boy, if somewhat misguided. He spent the night with us once at the artist skill as a guest for Sarah. That is what Gladstone says. Thou hast better ask him about it. Farewell, my lord. I hope I was of some assistance to thee. Not really, bitch. Wow, I'm glad no one's home at the tavern. Maybe we better go investigate this murder. God damn it! Stop leaving the screen, cursor. Whoa, this must be her shop. Some music. That's a rather large building there. Plenty of commerce happening. Oh shit, it's the fellowship. We gotta steal from you. That's my gold. It's all good. Batlin would want me to take food. Let me run it through some trash here. Alright folks, well we're gonna explore Minoc in more depth here more depth and investigate the deaths in the next video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.